Right now, the Nashville Predators continue their quest for the Stanley Cup tonight. So exciting. Game two of the big playoff series with the Red Wings going on. Fox 17 Sky Arnold now joins us live from downtown at Bridgestone Arena. Unfortunately, this game not uh, as good for the home team. Not good for the home team, but probably good for the fans, at least right now, Scott. I don't know if you guys were paying attention. I actually kind of wish you hadn't come to me. They just scored a few minutes ago. We're down one goal with just a couple of minutes to go, so the Preds are trying to make a push, if you will, to send this thing into overtime. And i got to tell you, it's not just the fans inside that are making some noise. These people behind me outside, they're having a pretty good time, too. Because the, you know, the weather's so nice, quite a lot of folks simply showed up to watch the game outside on the big television screen they have set up. It's free so obviously that's a plus and fans are allowed to drink beer and alcohol and have food as long as they keep it all inside the fenced in area now Ashley Brummer and Jamie Mortimer they're among the, the crowd that's gathered here the growing crowd I should say uh, two mothers brought their portable chairs and three young daughters to watch the game they say it's actually with kids more fun outside than inside they get to run around and kind of have a little more freedom and we just come and go as we please and it's nice I wish they would do this for regular season games because they have a lot more fun, right? Yeah, again, I don't want to be working. I want to be watching. Uh, <laughs> Any second now they could score and send it into overtime. That's certainly what these folks are hoping for. If they do it, you'll see them jumping around, uh, me included, going a, a little crazy. Bottom line, though, they plan to have the screen back next Friday when the Preds return home. Of course, the games move to Detroit after this one. But this one isn't over.